The eight times champions had a convincing win in the first round, scoring five tries against St. Gerrard's. They make a single change from that game. Killian Burke starts at fullback. He was a try scorer off the bench. Sebastian from also across the line. He's the Clongas captain this year. Keno Dunahu on the wing scored two. In the Clongas pack, only Stephen Keelan was in the starting side in last year's final. David Garty was part of the extended squad. First time in the senior in a senior cup quarter final for the other six. The pack was dominant against St. Gerrard's, but today will be a sterner test. St. Michael's title defence started slowly, but they eventually overcame a stubborn castle knock. Prop forward Dennis Coulson was one of the try scorers. He, Ross Maloney, Alex Penny, and Josh Murphy appeared in the final last season, so it is an experienced pack. St. Michael's have a Leinster under 18 half back pairing, and Nick McCarthy and Ross Byrne. Byrne was the other try scorer against Castle Knock. He, Adam Levy in the centre, and full back Kian Kelleher were all involved in last year's final two. This experience throughout the team may well prove to be an advantage today. Both colleges made good use of their benches last time out. It will be interesting to see if that is repeated today. For Clongas, Colin Murphy, Connor Ganley, Jake Kennedy, and Josh Pym were all thrown in during the last 10 minutes. Ben Osborne started for St. Michael's and he, they also gave a run to Connor Murphy, Nick Quayne, James O'Connell and Mark O'Keefe. David Garty standing off, the ball moved a little bit further as Garty stepped away, that is Garty. St. Michael's back to their feet quickly to get back into the defensive line position. Dylan Donlan looking for a bit of space. Mark used Dudney as the first runner once again good protection of the ball a little show now comes out a bit wider full back in the line can they score all the way wide onto the line is a touchdown there's a cheer from the Clongos crowd I think it's just short Alan Jeffers almost got in yeah you hear John Carvel saying just held up short good hands here again coming out to Burke Gives the pass, steps in, that's the right thing to do. And it's just the, all the scramble defence coming back and working together as a team. Fantastic defence. That's one of those ones he may well have got it down on the line, but it wasn't absolutely certain. Referee can't give that. Have a little drive from the base of the scrum. Stephen McVeigh just held up short once again. Marr gets it away to Cleary. Thrown all the way wide. Surely there's a chance here for a try for Clongos. Keen O'Donoghue gets in, untouched to the far side, brilliant handling, great speed to move the ball the full width of the pitch, Aiden. Absolutely, and good vision as well, because you looked out there, you looked, out, looked a bit sparse, but O'Donoghue had good width on this, we'll see it come through the hands. First of all, good pick from number eight, through the gap there, and what happened is nine brought away the cover, creating that space for the pick. We'll see it going through the hands, good wide pass here, and he has a look. Nice flat pass, and that's put right into the bread basket. Set. Five meter scrum for Klongos. Marr gets the ball away to Cleary. Lappin in the line, shows to From, drives on. Great effort. Lappin is in, almost to the line. Can he get the ball grounded? And St. Michael's somehow get enough bodies there and enough strength. Another surge for the line. Referee's whistle blows. Try awarded. Well, Klongos deserved that for all their efforts. I thought Michaels had managed to keep them at bay on that occasion. But one more surge came from Klongos Wood. They get the second try. And they're so tenacious. They've kept to their task because those tries are even extra special because of the fact that that defence is so well organised. That's pure ambition and tenacity to get over the line. And just even now, working time on both sides, rocking so well, oh, working team, hard. Team, Great try. Well, Stephen Keelan, I think it was, with the final drive and search for the line. Push. Hold. Oh, Michaels, you sense, have to get something from this passage of play. Quick hands again, is there an opportunity wide? Just a little slip before the pass could go. Clone goes swarm in, the referee's arm is out, it's advantage St. Michael's. I didn't hear the call, not sure if it's going to be a scrum or a penalty. No, no. Now it comes away again for St. Michael's, still advantage, they're playing. Surely they can get in here. Pass popped out of the tackle, try for the line. Clongos get there to stop it, no they don't. Michael's are in for the touchdown. 
and nothing more than they deserve, Aiden. They Over and back they went. What a try by Redmond. What a team try and what defence by Tlongos. This is a fantastic game of rugby. The defence out wide over that far side, absolutely fantastic. Ross Byrne here, look at his pass. Presence of mind to know that's where the space is and that offload was key. Look at his strength here. Eventually getting it down. Brilliantly oh, taken by, Fro by the scrum half mark. Now Byrne puts it all the way wide. It could be three against two here. Adam Levy's waiting for the pass back inside. Stumbles through the tackle. Push. And St. Michael's come once again. The tackles have to be important. Coulson onto the ball. Can he stretch for the line? Try for Dennis Coulson. The big pop forward. Powers his way over the line. Will that be enough for St. Michael's? Or can Clongos come back? But the score was coming. It sure was, they were knocking on the door. What a fantastic try. We'll see it here again. Keller does really well here. Well, you see this, holding it up, holding it up, giving it inside to Levy. That was the key break. Levy wasn't held. Going through the hands here again. Burn, holding it up. Look at this offload, fantastic stuff. And then Coulson, we saw a fantastic try from him last year as well. That's a great try. Well, Ross Byrne has kicked three out of five. The two misses will be all forgotten if he puts this over. It will give his side an eight-point lead. Ross Byrne makes no mistake from in front of the posts. And that could be the score that seals the match. They know Klongos have to attack and attack from anywhere. Mark couldn't get his pass away. Shirts come in to come and protect their scrum half. Jamie Lyons. Oh, that one's got knocked forward. Will that bring the final whistle? It does indeed. Jim John Carble blows the final whistle. St. Michael's repeat the victory of the final last year. A deserved victory, Aiden. Absolutely, and what an absolute fantastic game of rugby. Both sides never given up right to the death, but deserved winners, Michaels, on this occasion. With me is the coach of St. Michael's, Andy Skeen. Heart in your mouth times there for a while. Uh, yeah, no, we knew it would be close from the start. Uh, Clongers, quality side, quality coaches, uh, big pedigree, big history in the tournament. So um, it was just a matter of keeping our keeping our elbows in front of them and just hanging on at the end. You know, we were hurting a lot out there. They probably were as well, but they uh, we just held it held in on the end. You know, we seem to have a very good game plan, and the side are extremely fit. I don't know about the fitness now. We're struggling a little bit. We need to work on that a little bit. Um, you yeah, know, we like to play a bit of rugby, but so do they. So there was opportunities for both teams. And I think it was a good match to watch if you were a supporter. I think we had the physical game on Tuesday with Ternier and Ross Gray. Um, maybe a little bit more width on it today, but, um, you know, both teams are going to be shattered after that one. With me also is Ross Maloney, the St. Michael's captain. Ross, the big moment, or the win is big, but your whole float to Dennis Coulson for the try is a piece of magic. Yeah, well, it's great to get the win. Like, fair play to Congo, so they really didn't, didn't give up throughout the whole game, and they really put it up just in the first half especially. So on from here, semi-final, uh, what do you do next? Get back to hard training, as the coach says? Yeah, it's like a few days off and then uh, look forward to the next game. It's going to be a challenge whoever we come up against. It was a great effort from the whole 15 throughout the game and even the guys who came off the bench. Yeah, that's been a big emphasis on our, on our game throughout the season, through, through the whole squad. There's 23 great players out there. Thanks very much, Ross. Thanks, Andy. Best of luck in the semi-final. Thank you.